Where's my belt? <laughs> Somebody give me a belt. Like, what y'all doing? <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you. Shakur, congratulations. Where? Where? Oh, okay, I see. Um, did, I just want to clarify what you just said. You said, you know, you might... Hey, can we have some quiet in here? Y'all loud as hell. You were, you were just saying that you'll go back with your team, obviously, and decide what you're going to do next. Is it possible, though, that you might move up to 135 for your next fight even? I mean, like I said, I got to sit back and talk to my team and see what my team uh, decide and what I decide, and then I could tell you what I'm, I'm going to do. But uh, I was looking forward to being undisputed champion, so that's probably uh, first, but it's depending on what my team think. Hey, everybody. Can you guys be quiet in here? So, one more question. This is the Shakur Stevenson press conference, not the random people on the side press conference. Thank you. Uh, Shakur, just one other thing I have for you. Um, you seem like you were really enjoying yourself in there tonight, particularly when the crowd booed you. You seem to thrive on that a little bit. Can you speak to that? Uh, yeah, most definitely. I feel like um, I wanted to shut them up. Like I, when I was walking out, I kept hearing them scream louder and louder, and I told myself I'm going to shut them up. And as the fight was going, I just heard crickets. I heard quiet and it felt good shutting them up, and that's why I told them, shh. But at the end of the day, um, I'm glad that they came out to support. Um, I don't got no, no bad feelings towards them. I'm glad that they came out, and uh, I appreciate them. Shakur, to your right, Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. If we can go into the sixth round, Oscar made a huge gamble with that overhand left, seemingly making a mistake. You took advantage. From there, did you pretty much know when he made that mistake that you were in control the rest of the way? Nah, I knew I was in control since round one. Um, when we first came out, I kind of knew he was too slow. Um, I'm the faster, better fighter. And I knew I was going to take control of the fight as the rounds kept going. Hey, Shakur. Uh, congratulations on a great performance. Like you said, you were in control from the opening bell. My question is, do you think you should be on the pound for pound list now after this great performance? I mean, what you think? Peace and pugilism, fight fanatics is my Ron Magnus. In another segment, a short segment of Boxer Logics United. Well, last night there was a outright brawl at the press conference for Shakur Stevenson after his dominant victory over Oscar Valdez. And it was a blessing in disguise. Yes. Because you know what Shakur Stevenson knows now? To leave those eight shit crab in a barrel piece of shit heathen niggas at home. They're going to ruin your shit, Shakur Stevenson. They ain't got shit. And your trajectory is going up while theirs are staying the same. Leave those crap in a barrel heathen. Ain't shit fucked up mentality, friends and family at home. I'm telling you now. Last night, God seen you a blessing in disguise. Because part of your family ain't shit. Fuck them. And I must ask Shakur Stevenson, you're not alone. We all got ain't shit friends and family that you just can't take to every goddamn party. And this was your night. You became a unified, super lightweight champion of the world. Your biggest fight ever. And he thought it was about them. Come on, man. You can't have it. So thank you for having this experience early in your career because you don't need it later. Peace and pugilism.